Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about my college experience. My whole time since I lived here, I always wanted to go to college and get a degree in America. Because I love theater, I decided to go and get my theater degree. It took me about uh, five years. It took me five years to um, go to college. Part of it was I didn't speak English. For the first two years, I went to the Glendale Community College to study um, just English. And then three years after that, it took me a while because I had to make a living and I had to get on my feet and to take care of my immigration um, process. So I went to college in 2013, which was um, in Santa Monica City College. Santa Monica City College gave me an amazing experience um, as a performer and in general, it's a great school to go to. So I would recommend anybody the reason why I chose it, first of all, it's close to the ocean and I love the ocean. Second of all, I feel like it's one of the only few colleges in Los Angeles that's like very international. So it is for me more interesting because you learn more cultures and you learn more um, about people and where they came from. I had a fear because I decided to take theater major. I had a fear for years that um, my English is not enough. I was afraid and worried to take any kind of theater classes, any kind of performing classes because I was so afraid that my English is not enough, my accent is very strong and uh, because I started taking just regular classes like the music classes and uh, general education classes and I was kind of avoiding for the beginning, at the beginning I was avoiding the art classes which was basically my major. So eventually I forced myself to go to uh, musical theater workshop. The professor was teaching that class was Janie Jones who was very helpful and she is probably the best teacher for the beginners because she makes everybody so welcomed and comfortable even though um, their performance level is just basic beginning you know they're not that experienced in performing but she teaches people from scratch and she just makes people feel comfortable so I feel like I got very lucky that she was my first teacher because that was something that I was always afraid of because I was so nervous about I was so nervous about my accent and I was so nervous about my English even though it's been five years after I moved here and my English was already fine it was just all in my head I learned a lot and um, not just in American theater right uh, but also general education. I learned a lot about American history. I learned about uh, psychology. I learned about uh, I got my English got even better because I had to take English one and English two, which is like a completely, um, in my opinion, difficult um, classes because you have to you have to write uh, academic essays, which was very challenging for me because you know it's not my first language. I got better at math. It was just for myself. I just want to learn more. I just want to get better, and I want to. I, and I wanted to have some kind of an American education, even if it's just a college, right? I started in 2003, and I finished in 2018. Um, the reason why the two-year program took me five years is because, well, I had no support here, so I had to. Um, I had to go to work. So I was working two jobs and going to school. And then the other reason why it took me longer than usual is because. Usually theater arts department, uh, they do productions, they do shows there. And so once you audition for a production and you do a full production, it's almost a commitment. You just, that sometimes might take your whole semester just doing a production. And it depends how busy you are because I had two jobs, I was doing a production, I had to learn the lines. So I would only take one or two other classes other than the production class. And I want to talk a little bit about my experience in the production and in the theater department, which was unbelievably helpful and amazing. Um, every single director I worked with and the professor were so helpful and I've learned so much there. So basically I took musical theater workshop and the head of the theater department saw me in that production. Some other week after the show, she came to me and said that she liked what she saw but uh, she wants me to get better, so she asked me to take her musical theater workshop, which was, was, which was on the following semester that she was teaching. 
So I was like, why not? You know, I just want to get better. So I did that. And then in the middle of that musical theater workshop, the director who directed the first musical theater workshop was looking for an actor because she was directing a show and she already cast it and there's some things happened, some actor left and then they switched the cast around and she was looking for someone to play a, a comic relief Russian guy, which was of course I'm Russian. The play is called You Can't Take It With You and I played uh, Boris Kalinkov, which was a Russian, um, he was a Russian ballet dance teacher. So much fun. So I exaggerated my accent and was talking a little bit more like very deep, like, you know, the Russians talk like this. It's very, very good. I made it over the top and it was a huge success. Then there was a summer show. The funniest thing is I, for the first play, I didn't audition. They asked me to do it. The second play, I did was the, was the summer show for kids. It was Emperor's New Clothes. Same thing, I jumped in, somebody quit or somebody you know dropped from the show, I think a week and a half before the opening. So the director's stage manager called me and asked me if I can uh, fill in and take the part. I did it. I played William, the uh, Emperor's Royal Advisor. I made him very flamboyant and the costumes were amazing, the makeup was amazing. It was just a, a fun, 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 fun show. I learned the whole part in a week and a half. Uh, my best friend was kind of like nervous, but he never told me because I um, do not freak me out because it is a big part and only one and, one and a half week to learn all the lines, learn all the songs, all the lyrics and the blocking and everything. But you know what, I did it and it was amazing. The following show I had to audition for, which was a play called um, Once in a Lifetime. I played a German, um, a German director Camerling, which was also, I didn't have a big part and the show was very long, I think it was over three hours. I didn't have a big part, but I did have fun with it. Um, it was also a lot of fun, a lot of fun uh, makeup and great costumes, great experience. The following show was Men of La Mancha, I played the villain. You know, all the Russians play villains, so why not? I played uh, Dr. Carrasco, who was the villain of the show. And my final show, which I played the villain again, which is to be honest with you, my favorite parts to play uh, villains because they're so much fun. Uh, I played Lord Farquaad in the musical Shrek. That was my final role in college and that was that was exactly when I got my degree, which was summer 2018. That was a perfect role and one of the best times of my life to leave college with getting my degree and having one of your dream roles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very proud of my degree, even though it's it's theater, it's still, it's not just theater, you have to take a lot of um, backstage theater classes, you learn about backstage, you learn all these terms in theater and the technical stuff, um, you learn how to make props, how to do makeup, how to do costumes, and also you learn general education classes, you know, you have to take English and history and psychology and math and all these different requirements to get your college degree so that was one of the best decisions of my life congratulations baby and i'm so happy and thankful that i finished my degree and i didn't stop and i finished and i got it that was one of my best days of my life when i got my degree because it's something you've been working for so long and you finally achieve it that's the best feeling in the world that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you soon. Mwah.